Hello world, uh, welcome to Rogue Games with the Bloody Jug Band. For the Bloody Jug Band, I'm Cragmire. I'm Deathray. And I'm Stormy G. Uh, these are games we play while on the road, stuck in traffic across the uh, great uh, land of ours, America, uh, as we like to call it. Heard that um, a lot today. Yes, uh, it was a good day, a lot of uh, good uh, jamming, and on the way home we thought, why not give you a glimpse on our road games, our bullshit and banter, as we try to make it back to our hometown. Um, today, Stormy, as the resident uh, game master, what are we playing? We are playing Florida Man. Florida Man, Florida Man. Does whatever Florida Man can. Does. Pew, pew. Um, we're, Ray and I are still working on the, uh, the soundtrack for well, the Florida Man. Song, yeah. The theme song for, for Florida Man. Uh, okay, uh, the, the premise of Florida Man is Stormy Jean, uh, the lovely and talented Stormy Jean, is going to give us a headline, news headline, could be from Florida, could not be from Florida. Right. Now, Ray has been on a streak. Uh, the streak, yeah. We got a lot of comments in last time uh, we played this game. We get a lot, really? A plethora, let's just say a plethora, <laughs> of comments. Um, Ray went shirtless, but not, not topless. topless. Right. And he said that every time he won, uh, he was going to take off another article of clothing. Since we had such a backlash um, of everybody staring at your bare chest right. for the duration of the show, this episode... Bottomless. Bottomless. Porky pig in it, if you will. So you have a shirt on, no hat, no... No. no. I got a shirt and I got shoes. I'm sorry, I was just So I got service, yeah. So you're... Uh, Dick out. Yeah. I think that's the one... I Little Ray. Yeah. Uh, Little, little death ray. Little sugar death ray, ray, we'll call sugar, it. Sugar ray. So he's out. Um, it, it might distract me. Ray has been on a streak with Florida Man. I'm going to try to beat the streak. Raining champ. So we can put Ray's clothes back on for the future <laughs> and at least reset the clock. So we don't get arrested driving. Right, you're right. Can we put, is it really against the law to drive with no clothes on? I think that's hearsay. I don't think that's a real thing. I think it is. I think if you had a shirt on, I mean that. I yeah. do have a shirt on. I mean, yeah. but if you, I think you, I don't know if it matters in the passenger seat. I really don't know. You can be naked in the passenger seat. You can't be naked in the driver's seat. I don't know. I don't know. Because like, I think if you, uh, you know, if the cop came in and saw you, keep your, looking at my junk, dude. Like, if the cop came out and saw that, I think we would get arrested. Stormy's got all her clothes on. I've got all my clothes on. But I'm You're sitting here, flapping in the wind. Porky pig in it. And uh, or the AC, flapping the AC. Uh, I think we're going to get arrested. So. Let's try to get this one wrapped up quickly. If I was in the back seat, would it be okay? Well, how do, about you, do you get a pass if you're in the back seat? We're gonna have to research that and get back to right. it. I'm hoping we can we can nip this in the bud today, though. Um, Stormy, first headline: Florida man allegedly shoots squirrel with bow and arrow for giving him a look. Ooh, it gave him a Ooh, give the stink eye from a squirrel, right. so and he shot the again. squirrel with a bow and arrow, which I think is. I don't know how close he was at. I mean, I don't know. I assume. He's I assume. Right on top of yeah, it. absolutely. He, <laughs> he didn't sneak up and shoot this thing within three feet. I mean, to pick a. Let's see, he was up on a tree. That damn thing's looking at me. Picks him off. Well, he had to be close enough to see what he was looking at him. Like. That's true. Maybe. 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 You know, no. Maybe he was. He was a hundred yards away. And the guy's like, "Is that squirrel eyeing me over there <laughs> from one mile?" Away. Martha, bring me the bow. Wow. So. Uh, ugh. I don't know if you from Florida uh, or not. I can weigh in first. Okay, yeah, please. I, I know. You know the Florida man. This is Florida you man. got a lot of the line. Yeah, Florida man. You're gonna say Florida man. Obviously, dude. I'm gonna say that we Florida has very nice squirrels. I don't think a lot oh, of what, we, they're assholes, dude. Like, what are you no, talking about? No, no. I mean, I was born in Wisconsin. One was looking had, at me this morning. Was it? It was probably this. I mean, he had a scar. Maybe he got shot by. A, I don't know. It looked like he got shot by a bow and arrow. Give me the. Eye I this think. He, I think this dude killed the squirrel. No, yeah, he put, put you on. Obviously, never killed a Florida squirrel. I know that in Wisconsin there was like different colored squirrels, and some were a little oh, bit. Oh, fabulous! No, it looks like a black squirrel and a red squirrel. And sort of, you know, uh, my father, the same person who used to shoot squirrels up in Wisconsin, now feeds squirrels down in Florida. All right. So I think that we have a much nicer population of squirrels here in Florida. What you they're doing? well fed. They're not as ornery. They're probably not going to give you looks. Also, I don't know a lot. I don't. I can't say I know a lot of hunters in Florida, but I sure as hell don't know a lot of bow hunters. The squirrel bow hunters. I don't know. I mean, it seems like food is more plentiful down here. We're not up in the you know, other place. We're not up in the, like the mountains or something. We're like the uh, Appalachians. You're, or... Yeah, you're gonna shoot a squirrel with a bow, and like that's gonna feed your family for the week. So I'm gonna say it's a big squirrel. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. At least in Florida, they would feed the right. family, but 
They're not, they're so damn nice. So you said Florida Man. I'm gonna say not Florida Man. Stormy. Uh, Staten Island, New York. Oh wow! I didn't even know they had. Bam! One. <laughs> Blew my mind. I got a point. Yeah, I'm, I'm amazed. Right. Not that you got a point, but the, there was the a guy, guy with a bow and arrow in Staten Island. New Stormy, York. is there more to this if story? That Jonathan, we need to hear? Jonathan Mangia, told the investigators that he shot and killed the animal. He had originally started throwing rocks at the squirrel. Then the squirrel, squirrel throw, throw gave me a look, and I took it personal. Well, I would think that if you're throwing rocks at anybody first. I mean, I, when did the look come in? Was it post? After the rock throw. After the rock Yeah, yeah see, that's shitty. Throwing. Like, I think that if I was throwing rocks at anybody, or any mam or mammal or right. reptile, uh, Doesn't you know. be a squirrel. No, be, no, uh, yeah, yeah, a snake. Like, I was, and it gave me a shitty, uh, you know, look. Can, can I, you do the look? Can you, like, It's mocking the, you. Would that be it? No, I'd be like, ah, what the fuck? I mean, I don't know. I just think that, could you really blame the squirrel at that point? Like, what an asshole. But... Okay, all right. Uh, I but I got felt, the point. I think he felt like he was being mocked. Well. He probably missed. Obviously the squirrel was mocking him. Don't. Uh, He's a bow hunter. He can be throwing some rocks. Don't throw rocks or shoot bows at little animals that you can't eat and feed your family. If you're doing it for the greater sake of your family, I understand. But if you get a shitty grin, you know, just just be humble and, you know. So I got one up on you. Yeah, yeah. Just take it. Just take it and roll on. Stormy, uh, next news article. Headline. Florida man bursts into ex's delivery room, frights Fight. fright, new boyfriend while she gave birth. Exes, okay, so ex boyfriend. Yes. Oh, it's FedEx person. Yes. Burst into his ex's delivery room. And fought the new boyfriend while she was giving yeah. uh, giving birth. Yeah. Do we know? Uh, you might have to look this up, but uh, yeah, in, in the article. But do we know if it was his child? Whose child was it? New boyfriend or Let's old boyfriend? See. Ray, I, while Stormy's looking that up, I mean, I, I don't know if that plays a part in your, your answer, but what are you going with? Ghost in. Dick yeah, out. That's my baby. Uh, and like, and uh, bam. It says their child. Ooh. Give it birth to their child. Their child, the guy who punched. Yeah. Okay. The so, exes, yeah. So it's the ex's boyfriend. New boyfriend's in there. She's giving a, getting a baby. New boyfriend just trying to get a glimpse. Okay. Maybe he hasn't, you know, he was whole, Ooh, waiting out. He was, yeah. I've been waiting nine months. For this, right. this is an important moment. Don't tear that up. Um, okay, I don't know if I can blame the guy or not. I mean, maybe he really so because you, know, you can't blame him, it dictates where he's from. Well, no, I mean, also while she was giving birth, I mean, did he, I mean that might speed up the thing, you know. She, guys, fellas, stop, <laughs> you know, like she did. Get ah! in the chest. Whoa, he by some, not by him, didn't say no, by, no, him. by him. No, no, by him. See, I uh, god, by I gotta give the guy a lot of credit, the ex boyfriend. That's badass. I mean, you come into a uh, 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 birthing room, or, and the, you know, whatever delivery room. delivery room in the in the middle of a hospital, and you're throwing picks. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, there's fucking, well, Jackie Chan. There's though. wires and shit hanging everywhere. I mean, there's a lot of medical equipment, high dollar medical equipment. Um, I'm gonna say not Florida man, right? Not Florida man. Just because of the bad. Badass. You're gonna make the yeah. opposite argument. Yeah. Because you can't be any more badass than that and not live in Florida. Okay, maybe Zimbabwe. I think it's a, a Zimbabwe. I think this one's a tough. Right. I think this one's a tough one. Yeah, I'm gonna flip a coin. Stormy. It is definitely Florida man. Yeah, Florida man. Florida man. Florida man. Florida man. Yeah. Damn it, you knew. Uh, yeah, <laughs> put that thing away. Oh damn. You got it tucked under my leg right okay, now. Okay, so best of five. So one, a one to one. Okay, uh, Stormy. Next, next headline. Man gets hit by a bus, walks it off straight to the pub. Okay, I like that. I mean, pubs are anywhere, so um, hits by a bu hit by a bus. All right, walks it off, heads to the pub. I ah, threw my hip out a little bit. Ah, you gotta get me that drink. Man, um, Guinness, medicinal. I, now I'm gonna flip the coin on this one, and I'm gonna say Florida man for this one because I think I, mean, I live in Florida and I love a tasty uh, a cold beverage. You know, I love a beer. Uh, Stormy and I, for many years, went to uh, you know several Irish pubs. Um, you know, I think if the guy was maimed, you know, terribly maimed, in my, uh, in my China, I got me. Yeah, he probably wouldn't. He probably wouldn't go to the pub. I mean, he'd probably be dead or in traction or something. So why, I, why does that dictate where he's from? I just think that like Florida people. Uh, I'm making a, a stereotypical. Okay. You know, Florida people. They they like their their tasty brews or the okay. tasty you know thing. They have an appreciation. 
maybe next to somebody else in Ireland. Like I think Florida people like their alcoholism, they like their beverages. And what a story to tell at the bar. You're at the bar. You know what, fellas? I just got hit by. A, I just wrestled an alligator, and got hit by a bus, bus. But I'm here at the pub to have a. I pooped in this sack. Here, hold this. To, to have a, have a beverage with you all. You know, I think that's camaraderie. Like right. Florida people are very jovial. Um, like to have a beverage. You'll do anything, short of dying and being maimed severely. To you know, you go to the pub and get there. Get there See, I think you're missing something here. I uh, think. I, I don't know. Maybe. I think that's that, why you've got no pants on and I'm still losing the game. The hinge pin is that he got hit by a bus, and I don't think we have an adequate busing system in Florida to dictate that kind of okay. outcome. Okay. I think you got to be a big city like in New York or Chicago that, where they depend on you know, public transportation. To, you know, A lot of the community depends on it. And a lot of air, maybe air brakes. I mean, like, right. you know, like he got nudged, but obviously they didn't run him over, you know? In Florida, they just kept around driving. Like, yeah, they yeah. had backed up and got him. Was that was that was that a guy back there? Hold on. Beep, oh. beep, 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 beep. Okay. Okay. So I'm saying, I'm going Florida for the once, and you're saying not, not Florida. Not Florida. You know the Florida person. This is not. Well, I, I think I know the busing system in Florida. Okay. It's, All right. Breaks no. of, I mean, if it was hit by like a train, because I got that new Amtrak monkey business. Thing. Right. Right. Runs okay. for five miles. Yeah. All right. So what do we got? Reading England. Yeah. Who's the man? The irony Redding. here is that <laughs> Either way. Yeah. he was hit by a purple bus, and the pub that he went to is called the Purple Turtle Bar. Purple Turtle Bar? Yeah. Well, I, See, if you would have had those details, Coming you would have known. Coming soon? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we would have known. Uh, I did know. I, Coming soon, uh, Bloody well, Jug Well, I thought band. if I said Purple, purple turtle, turtle Bar that you might both be swayed to Florida. No, Purple Turtle makes me think of his penis out. Uh, coming soon, Bloody Jug Band at the Purple Turtle, Turtle Bar Turtle? in Reading, uh, Reading, England. England. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Good night, Governor. <laughs> As an aside, Stormy and I went to uh, Toys R Us yesterday with yes. Bodhi, and uh, a nice Spanish woman thought that I was, uh, she asked her, is he from England? Like, thought I had a... An English accent. Engla English accent. Hello, Governor. And I, and I, and I <laughs> gave her like, good night, Governor, uh, on the back end <laughs> to, to, like, reinforce it in case she... Bollocks, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ray, you're... Two to, two to one. one. Two to one. Okay. Stormy, next... Uh, now you can tell. Next headline. Florida oh, man... Board, he's excited. Florida man shoots armadillo... Bullet ricochets back in his own face. Oh, I think I know that guy. What? I mean, an armadillo. I mean, I, you know, in the in the in the things like they have a hard shell, but I think you could shoot an armadillo. I mean, it wouldn't go through its shell. It's that hard. Or this guy's an asshole. He was standing behind uh, the armadillo. Rubber bullets. There was a rock. There was a rock behind the armadillo that ricocheted off the armadillo. I don't, I don't think that it's. I guess it's besides the point, but I don't think its shell is that hard. That. It's gonna ricochet a bullet. What kind of bullet we got? He's in a twenty-two. Uh, he's in a thirty-eight. He shot him with a thirty-eight revolver. Oh, so he stood up with rubber close. bullets in it. Uh -huh. Shot three times. He's now, Tata gun. Uh, Stormy and I like to, to go out in the woods. Uh, you know, uh, all these uh, parks we have in Florida, and I have been uh, tromping through the woods before and seen an armadillo. So I do know they have armadillos in Florida. Sure. I mean, so I think like born in Wisconsin. Never saw an armadillo in Wisconsin. Don't think they're native to Wisconsin. So I'm not sure. Wisconsin man is what you're saying. I, in Northern Hemisphere, I, I, I don't know this to be true, but I don't think armadillos are prevalent there. Never saw a lot in Ohio either. Maybe so. Texas, Texas. You know, but I, this one I'm going to go Florida man again because I think I've seen an armadillo. Um, I, I've never heard of an armadillo with the shell that's going to ricochet a bullet. Right. With a 38 up close, but. I'm trying to double tap a fucking armadillo and it ricochets back at me. Oh, guy, armadillo. Yeah, but I'm going to go Florida, man. I, I just, something tells me I could have been that guy. I believe that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it's Florida, man, as well. I, okay. I had a lot of armadillo experience in Florida. Okay. Um, Stormy, I think we agreed on this one. Yeah. Where'd we go? Uh, you, were, uh, you were hot. Close, 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 close. Texas man. Oh, oh you brought up Texas. Oh. I knew it. Rango. There's a, there's a, there's a uh, armadillo. Not Florida man. Texas man. 
Okay. Pass. Okay, so but you're still so we both uh, crapped out on that one, but you are still ahead. Right. Two to one. The stars and nine are big and big and bright. So this is best of five. This is the last question. Last question. You can okay. tie it up, or I can run away with it again. All right, let's try. Stormy, last right. question. Let me last try headline. That's kind of not a giveaway. Florida man steals a van to drive to the Waffle House. I don't. I don't have a pulse on this one yet, Ray. Why don't you give me a? Give me a what, what do you think? Maybe it's just me, but like in my world, uh, I don't cross a whole lot of Waffle House pathways in my normal driving and out there. I drive all the time. I'm constantly going somewhere. I, As are we, but we don't. We're not passing a lot of. I, I haven't seen a Waffle House since we've been on the road today. Well, we're not going off on every exit. I mean these. Probably we should see at least a, amazing product a sign for a you know, Waffle House this way. Okay, well, let's. I'm going to keep my eye out while you're answering. So you're going to say, um, the sheer lack of Waffle House, houses, not the desire. Yeah. Maybe the Waffle House is like this dude. There's one 20 miles away. He's driving to Georgia. He's got to get to the. I mean, he is. Uh, I mean, I hop. I mean, I think that anything that breakfast food. Eat them smothered and covered, or I don't know. I mean, but. Breakfast Perhaps. foods. People are crazy for breakfast foods. I think that people go to great lengths for breakfast foods. Um, so you're gonna say not, not Florida, Florida man. man, not Florida man, based off the Waffle House proximity. I'm gonna say Florida man. Okay. Because you gotta try to tie it up. Well, also we have to be different, but I also feel like um, like maybe like he's that ravenous. This guy is that ravenous to get to the, the Florida Waffle man House. stole a van, drove to South Carolina to go to a Waffle House. He just had to get there. I mean, I, like to your point, if I was in South Carolina, I was in somewhere else where uh, Waffle Houses were maybe a little bit more prevalent. All right. I wouldn't need to steal one. That's why you wouldn't steal a van. You might walk. Walk out the front door. Walk out the front door. Walk a couple blocks. I hop. Bam. Waffle Houses tougher to get to. You're, I mean, if you're a degenerate, there's a food sign coming up. On the if right. you're if you're a freaking degenerate for oh Waffle oh, House oh, right the, there. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh, exit oh, 32 oh, in Lakeland. You can get a Bob like Evans and a 20, 24 hour Waffle House and a Steak and Shake. All at the same stuff. Shit. Okay, we're going. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to wrap this one up. Um, That's over by the Guitar Center, I think, in Lakeland. Yeah, let's get, we got to go get some strings, get some get some waffles. The waffles Sign 20, up for some lessons. Waffles 24 hours a day. So Get it before and after so your lesson. See, that proves my point. I'm saying Florida Man. There's a Hooters at the same There's the Waffle House on yeah. your right. Oh, oh, there it is. Hi. That's sexy. We'll be by later. Uh, and Ray, you're saying. That's not they go somewhere else. I mean, that's the only waffle house we've seen. There's dicks. Dicks and waffles. All right. Dicks. Stormy. Stormy. What do we got? We got Florida Man. Ah, oh, I was wrong. Tiebreaker. So does that mean that next, uh, with a tiebreaker, how do we change up the next uh, episode? Oh, no, that's like, a, that's like boxing. You can have a draw. I know, but do you put the pants back on? I think I stay static. You think so? Oh. Ray? Dick out. Ray, Ray, Little Ray, Stormy. Who uh, it? We are the Bloody Jug Band. Uh, this has been a draw for this episode of Florida Man. Thank you to Stormy Jean for being our a, uh, game master. Let's give him a taste of the outro of Florida Man. Florida Man, no! Florida Man, he's a man that likes to go to the Waffle House. There's another one, right? Oh, shit. Damn it, I should win for that. Put your pants back on. We'll see you next time. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you on the road. Maybe we'll be with the Cockney Idiot.